All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel, Hill Creek Outdoors. Got another video for you today. This is part two to the Kimimoto product installation. Um, we're going to show you how what products we have, what we're going to be installing, kind of a, a field test there, and we'll get you all the information best we can for these products. Um, we have a dome light that we're going to be putting in the rear for the rear occupants. Um, it's going to be mainly for our boys, but a, a great feature. It's a dome light. You also can use it for a flashlight, so we'll show you that. Um, we also have the UTV sound bar that's right down here. It's a 500 watt sound bar, 28 inches. So we'll be putting that here in the rear, right up here. That's where it goes. We have the bed extender that will give you a little bit extra storage in your rear bed. Drop your tailgate down, throws a little bit more products in there, wood. Um, tools, you name it, whatever it is. And then finally we have the UTV bed cover that can keep all your stuff out of the elements. Um, if you want to keep it dry or just keep it back there where nothing can get to it. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the install and all that from the past video last week. Um, once again, all the information for this stuff is going to be in the description. So check out those links if you'd like to purchase it or whatever uh, you may want to do. Um, let's see. Floor mats there. They're looking nice, huh? We already took the doors off because we're going to be uh, trying to get in here. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's go. All right, guys. It is extremely windy out here today. So we're going to do the best we can for audio. Hopefully this thing uh, does really well. Um, but if it starts to get a little windy, we might move inside. But we want to try to get out here in the weather. So we're gonna do this sound bar first. Comes with all these different packages. There's a remote to it, um, all your wiring, your bolts, your nuts, um, brackets. It comes packaged real nice in this, with this styrofoam. We're gonna pull it out here. Try to keep everything. There's some more wires, so we'll have to take a look at this, where we're gonna wire it to your brackets throw all that down let's get all this stuff laid out and we'll show you what how we're going to install this all right guys so we had to move inside um just isn't going to work out there too windy i want to go ahead and get you uh show you how to do this in here there's two ways you can mount these this side or the sound bar you can use around a crossbar or roll bar like this and tighten it down or you can use brackets that come with it we're going to use the brackets for the Polaris Ranger XP 1000 it's going to be the best method and works best for that comes a whole, a whole bunch with a whole bunch of hardware you're going to get these here uh, they're going to slide in these grooves there's one on top and one on the bottom however you want to mount it I'm going to take dump these out see what washers and stuff we have you should have four little bolts that will go in the bracket here so this is going to mount to the actual ranger then you're going to have four of these little bolts that go we'll hook here like this so what we're going to do is we're going to throw these right in this slide here you'll get you'll have uh four of them throw them in the slide and then we're not going to tighten it down we're going to adjust it once we get in the ranger and get it exactly where we want it so let me throw these in here it does come with a allen which is nice it comes with an Allen, but it doesn't fit this Allen. So we're going to have to get an Allen for that. So I don't know what that's for. We'll find out later. So got an Allen. It's a 530 seconds Allen wrench. So you guys are aware. We're not going to tighten it up. We're just going to snug it. Like so. And we'll do the other side real quick. That one must not be 
started right. All right, we'll do this other side, throw this bracket on here. Slide this down. There we go. Get the last one here. Man, I wish it wasn't so windy out. Well, that's all right. So we got that one. It's heavy. I know. I was trying to do this myself. Why not? Oh, okay. Hold it for a minute. All right, so we got it mounted up in here. Um, we used the middle, only needed one. Same thing on that side. It is a little tough to get to, because you're gonna have to get an Allen up in there to get those other two bolts. But we have it up in there. Now we're gonna go ahead and do our electrical. And we have a cord. There's two cords that come with it, a longer one and a shorter one. So we're gonna see which one we're gonna need to do. We're gonna have it run up along here and down to the battery. So for your battery, you have a, it's gonna be a 10 milli. So you're gonna need a 10 millimeter wrench. So we got one here. You can loosen these up. They have little ports right here. So we're gonna go ahead and utilize this one port here. I wanna save that for another maybe another thing later. So we're gonna unscrew this nut here and we'll just slide this down on here for a good connection, tighten it down. Right up through here you can see where we brought the port and we're gonna lay it right behind that seat. Then we'll run the uh, other one all the way down from the light bar and then connect there. So I think we're gonna use the short one here and it does come with a fuse, so you're going to have to take your short or your long one, whichever one you need. They come with two fuses, so it helps out. You'll take your fuse, and you're going to go ahead and put it in your one end here. You just unscrew this. And then we'll drop it down in there. Oh, it already came with a fuse, so there's already a fuse in it. So it's got two extra fuses, just so you all know. So there's an extra fuse in there, and there's probably another fuse in the other, other one as well. There we go. And we'll go right up in here. Plug it up the right way. Screw it on, give it power. And I will probably use zip ties here to zip tie it up. But for now, this is what I'm going to do. Hook it right there. We're going to come right down here. And we will plug it in. All right, so you can see now it's on. You can hook it up to Bluetooth, auxiliary, USB, you name it. It's controlled by a controller as well. I'm gonna be installing the dome interior light. And currently we have one, as you can see right here, this is gonna be for the front, but we're gonna go ahead and put in the rear one. And here's our gun rack. Um, you can put a bow in here. We have a video. But in the box, you're going to get the strap here, which goes around any type of thing. You're going to get in a good bubble wrap the actual dome light. It actually can be used also for a flashlight, just like this. And it is rechargeable. It comes with a charger. I don't believe it's charged up right now. We just took it out, so let's verify. It might be. I don't know. 
Oh, it does. It comes charged. You see that? So boom, you have a wide angle and more of like a spotlight. So ooh, hopefully I didn't shine that in your guys' eyes. Um, so what we're going to do, made in the USA, look at that. Well, I don't know if it's made in the USA, but it's got the USA on there. So love it. We're going to put this like this. I think we're going to put it right here. We're going to strap it around. It's real simple to do. You just throw it through. Wrap that around. Let's get this one here started. It's got a nice rubber on the inside so it doesn't move around. Once you tighten it down, it's going to stay in position. So we're going to get this right in the middle of the uh, Ranger here. And we'll tighten that down. Like that. Do the same thing on this side. Tighten her down. Just like that. There she is. Then you're going to take your dome light and we're going to position it. It just snaps right in. Just like so. You can rotate it down, back. And I'll get you in here and show you a little bit closer too. But we're going to kind of position it. Uh, I say back just a hair. Just kind of maybe like that. To where the boys can reach it. Give them some good light. Let me bring you in closer and show you what we got. So now we got it strapped on. You, as you can see, just goes right around the uh, crossbar there. You can turn it just like this. Nice and easy. It's got a magnet on this side where you can take it off and actually, let me show you here. See there? You can magnet to something if you're going to be working. Got a little button right here. Open it up. That's where you charge it. That's also where you turn it on. You have a spotlight. You hit it again, and it's a wide-angled. To put it back in, throw it up just like that. snaps in, and you can rotate it again. Bed cover, we're going to take it out of the package. And then once you take it out of the package, you're going to lay it over top of the bed. There's a little marker on here that says Kimimoto down here at this side. You're going to want that... On the passengers, passenger rear of their bed. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead. We laid that out. You put your tailgate up, and you're gonna pull this around. You're gonna have these hooks. There's these little hooks. There'll be one there. It's gonna be one here, right? You're going to come back around. You'll have three on this side. There'll be one there. You have one there, two, and three. We're going to come around to this side. And you're going to hook three more, just like the other side. One, two, and three. I'm showing you how quick this is, guys. Lift your bed up you'll take this here then you'll have two let me actually bring you around so you can see you're gonna have two let me get out of your way here one at a hook there We might as well go ahead and tighten these down. This right here is going to hook right there. And you're going to snug it up. This side has the same thing. You'll have number two. Then you're going to have this here. It goes right there. You can snug it up. Go ahead and shut it. We'll bring you back to the front. If you can see all those all the way around, we're going to tighten it up now here on the front. Boy, she needs a, she needs a wash, doesn't she? We'll hook this right here. 
on the frame. Make sure you get it on something, the metal frame. There you go, that's tight. Same thing here. There's the metal frame right up under here. Snug it up. Just like that. And one more. Go right up under here. Hook it right to the frame. Oh. I can get it. There it goes. Who's that? There we go. Snug it up. And it's on there. If you want to open your tailgate, you're going to have to loosen those up. There you go. All the way around. All right, guys, last and final thing here we got. This is going to be the bed extender, and it looks fairly easy to put together, so we're going to go ahead and show you. I took it out of the box, but this is how I have the, everything in the box is packaged in bubble wrap, as well um, as it has some styrofoam around it. So we're going to take these brackets out real quick, take all these pieces out, get them laid out for you. And we'll show you how to actually install it. We once again appreciate Kimimoto for sending all this these products to us. Um, we just really enjoy their products. They're so uni universal, durable, and just so good quality. We, we, we can't complain with it at all. So I will tell you though that soundbar speaker we just installed. That was a little difficult uh, to install there, just how tight it was in the back. But once you get it up there, it's solid. It puts out some really good noise on the trail test, um, which was awesome. We're gonna have some good times with that. Just take these nuts off of here. The nut in the washer off of these here. You'll slide it down in here on this one side, just like that. You're gonna do the same thing with this one here on this side. You're gonna take the nut off and the washer. You're gonna slide that down in there. They go in the first hole. You're gonna take these brackets here. And you're gonna put this piece in like that. It's going to go right there on that. You're going to slide your washer over top. 
your nut. Go ahead and screw that down to where it's snug. We'll do the same thing to this side, just like that. All right, so you're gonna take the longer part. It's gonna go right in here, like this. Just to where that comes out there, you're gonna take a locking washer, and you're gonna go ahead and put that on like so. Allen screwdriver that fits this. Look at that. Works out perfect. You could use power tools, but you got to be careful with power tools. Always remember to be careful with power tools. So we'll get that snug, but not tight. We're going to do the same thing on this side, and then we'll flip it and do the other side there. And it rotates like so. And then we're going to put the other ones on right here. Want to flip it over? You can flip it over. They can rest like that. Maybe you want to put some, get these out of here. Maybe you want to put a gas can or something in there. It'll kind of hold that stuff right in there and makes a nice little compartment there. If you open this up, you can flip it right, right on back over. And once again, guys, it's it's so universal. Um, all you gotta do is take these out, pop it out when you when you don't want to use it. If you don't want to keep it in here, you want to latch it down. If you latch it down, you just flip this over, lock that down, flip this over, lock that down, and there she is. All right, everyone, we finally got her all done. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed not only just part two, but also the one last week, part one of this series. We can't thank Kimimoto enough for sending us these products that we can share with you guys because they are just wonderful products and great things that you guys can um, utilize for your application, but also for us. So I wouldn't have them on my Polaris Ranger um, XP1000 if I didn't think they were good products. So that's why we feature them here on the channel. Um, everything went pretty smooth. The only issues we had was with the, on part two, this one here was with the sound bar. It was a little difficult getting it up in there just because it was real tight, but it is manageable. Once you get it in there, easy, no issues. Um, other than that, I think that's all we got. We could never do this without you guys. So I want to give a huge shout out and appreciation to every one of you for tuning in each and every week. Um, couldn't do this without you. This is what we do this for. is because we love what we do here on the property, all things country. And we just want to share what we do here with you guys. And maybe you can learn something and instill it in what you guys do on in your everyday life. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you know when we put up our next video. And as always, until next time here on Hill Creek Outdoors, we'll see you. Thank mm -hmm. you.